Okay, so in this peri-epic radiograph, uh, which was the premolars and the molar tooth, we want to um, have an idea about the correct way of measuring the depth uh, of, the, uh, of the distance between the alveolar crest and the cemento enamel junction. Uh, before we start measurements, we have to have an idea about the correct way of uh, 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 or the where are the points that we will uh, do our measurements. In order to do this, the first thing that you have to do is that you need to connect. Let's talk about the pre two premolars now. You need to connect between the two cemento enamel junction junctions of the two adjacent teeth. So the first step that you're going to do is that you're going to connect between the two, uh, uh, draw a line actually, uh, between the two uh, cemento enamel junctions uh, of two adjacent teeth, okay? Uh, by so doing, uh, you are going to uh, create a line of reference, a line of reference that will uh, 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 you use as a guide as we will show uh, uh, in, 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 in a minute so first of all draw a line uh, of the uh, uh, connecting between the two cemento enamel junctions then draw another line that passes by the alveolar crest okay those two lines in a normal uh, alveolar or in a, in a, in a normal hyper, per, per, periodontium, those two lines should be par parallel to each other. Those two lines should be parallel to uh, each other. So, draw, connect the two cemento enamel junction of two adjacent teeth, draw a line across the alveolar crest. Now, the next step that you're going to do is you're going to drop a line huh, from the uh, from the next step that you're going to do is that you're going to measure the distance between the connecting line between the two cemento enamel junctions and the line which is uh, drawn across the alveolar crest. In a normal periodontal distance, periodontal depth distance, uh, this is 1.5, this line, this distance should be 1.5 to 2 millimeters. Okay? Now the next step that you're going to do is that you're going to shift to the uh, distal of the tooth, okay, and then measure again the distance between the line connecting between the two cemento enamel junctions and the line which is drawn across the alveolar crest margin. This again should be 1.5 millimeter. In all cases, in uh, those two lines should be parallel to each other. In all cases, those two lines should be parallel to each other. If they are not parallel, then there is a problem here. It means that on one side, on one side of uh, 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 of the tooth, whether it is a mesial or a distal, huh, there is an increased distance between the line which is connecting between the CEJ and the line which is drawn across the alveolar crest. It means that there is bone resorption which we will discuss in, uh, in other slides. But in a normal uh, relationship, those two lines should be parallel and the uh, distance should be 1.5 on either side of each tooth. The distal of a tooth of a premolar and the mesial of a, another premolar or of the adjacent premolar in this case in particular. 